Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a username using Java. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import these two libraries because we'll be needing them for this tutorial. Then, I've got some variables of different usernames. Then I have got a print statement for each username, and we're going to be passing them into a function called isValidUsername. It's going to return a true or a false depending on if the username is valid. Now, I just want to do a little disclaimer. You can customize this. I'm going to be giving you an example of rules to validate a username, but you can change these. So let's go into it. So we're going to do public static boolean is valid username and string username. So we're going to return a true or a false, true for valid, false for invalid is valid username is the name of this function. String username is going to be the username we want to validate. Firstly, we're going to do int length equals username dot length. So we're going to get the length of, uh, of the username the user inputted. If it's less than five characters long or greater than 15 characters long, we return a false. We don't want the name to be too long or too short. So we have a little range check. Again, you can change the values if you want to. Then we're going to make a pattern and a matcher object. So we're going to do pattern pattern equals pattern dot compile this beautiful string, which will be in the description below so you can copy and paste. And then we're going to do matcher matcher equals pattern dot matcher username. So we're creating a pattern object and this is going to store a regex pattern. A regex pattern contains a set of rules and patterns that a string has to follow to be considered a match or valid. And we can use a matcher object to essentially check if a string matches the regex pattern. So we do this line of code to set that up. Pattern is our pattern here. And username is the string we want to check if it matches the pattern. In this tutorial, we are going to let a username contain letters, numbers, and underscores. However, a username can't only be underscores. Then we're going to do return matcher.matches. Matcher.matches gives us a boolean. True if the string matches the pattern, false if they don't match. So that's it for this tutorial. Let's save our work and hit play. So we get true, false, true, true, false. So user underscore one, two, three is true because it contains underscore letter and numbers. User at one, two, three is invalid because at symbols aren't allowed. Username is valid because it's just letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 is valid because it contains just numbers. A bunch of underscores though is invalid because we only allow underscores when they're accompanied by letters or numbers. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for watching.